What's up guys, I'm Brian. And I'm Maury from the Erie Better Beer Bureau. Um, our buddy Todd down in Pittsburgh was nice enough to grab us some cans of the Nobody's Robot and Nobody's Monkey um, for their Juicy Brews Festival, which I believe was for their one year anniversary. Um, I think they were canned on 927. I believe that's correct. And it's 10, what, 15 right now? Yeah. 14? Yeah, a couple weeks. Yeah, so a couple weeks on them. Um, this one is the Nobody's Robot, the one we're drinking now, is a double IPA that weighs in at 8.2% alcohol. So, uh, Dancing Gnome, you know, um, making some good, juicy, hazy beers down uh, in Pittsburgh area. Uh, along with Brew Gentlemen and some other small up-and-coming breweries. That scene has really started to come alive down in Pittsburgh. Um, and we've had some good ones from Dancing Gnome lately. So we're going to get into the Nobody's Robot and we'll let you know what we think about it. Oh yeah, that's nice. It has a nice, real nice, soft kind of freshness to it. Um, it smells very lightly juicy. It's not exactly jumping out of the glass, but boy does it smell like fresh. Yeah, some citrus notes. Pineapple, little bit of peach character, little bit of that kind of orange tangerine vibe. I'm definitely getting pineapple. And now uh, going back in, I'm getting a little bit of like a, uh, like a soft mango as well. I get like a, a hint of a floral note. Not, yeah, I was gonna say I crazy, actually. But. Yeah, I, I got it most on the first initial smell, uh, but it's still definitely sticking in there. It's not overly floral, but it does no. have a floral character to it. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Yeah. For me, I gotta tell you. It follows the nose pretty it's closely. Pretty, yeah, it's, pretty. For a double IPA, it's surprisingly light and delicate. Although you do notice it has a nice body to it. It has a good hop profile to it too. I think it's, uh, it adds that nice just amount of right bitterness to it. Um, but there's a nice sweetness in there, there as well. There is too. It kind of creeps up on you right on the backside. And yeah. It's got a good mouthfeel. Certainly sure. has. Yeah, yeah. Could use a little bit more head retention mm -hmm. on it, but yeah, I agree kinda... with that. You know, um, we've had a lot of these beers from both Dancing Gnome and especially Brew Gentleman, where that the the head for an IPA just is it's so fluffy and it lasts until the bottom of the glass to where your glass is completely coated with lacing. This one doesn't look like it's going to do that, but it's not flat either. No, it has a nice no. carbonation enough to keep the beer li alive and feeling good. Uh, as far as mouth feels concerned. All right, for the Nobody's Robot from Dancing Gnome, I'll tell you what, I'm going to give it an extremely solid 4.25, and it's really more in the 4.3 category, approaching 4.5 for me. Um, you know, we didn't give a lot of the tasting notes, um, so I'll just really quickly say, for me, the ones that jump out the most on the taste are, are pineapple and mango for me. It does have a citrusy quality, but it's not as much that was on the aroma. There's not a lot of orange in there. There's a hint of it for sure, uh, but there's not as much of that. I would say pineapple and um, and mango for sure. And you know, I would like just there's a a good balance between bitterness and sweetness for me. I really love that. Um, if I'm going to nitpick it here, I'd like a little bit more fluffy head retention sticking around on this one for sure. And maybe just a little, you know, little more aroma. But I mean, like I said, this is a really good beer from Dancing Gnome. And when they first came out, I thought they were good, but I thought they had a ways to go um, to, you know, kind of get up in that elite category as far as these hazy styles are concerned. But they're quickly climbing that ladder for me. The last few I've had from Dancing Gnome have been on point. And this one's right in that area as well. Um, I'm going to agree with Jay on the score. Um, I was in between a 4.25 and a 4.5. Um, and I'm, I'm going to go with the 4.25. A um, couple things that, you know, like Jay said, I could use a little bit more head retention, um, a little bit more lacing. It's got plenty of uh, pineapple notes. It's got uh, 
you know, the mango that he said, I almost feel like there's a little bit like a tangerine type uh, uh, rind on the back side mm -hmm. of it a little bit. Um, it's a great beer. Yeah, it is. Um, for them just being a year old, they're really, I mean, you know, Dancing Gnome's on point. Um, and they're, they're, they're climbing the ladder. And with these can releases, uh, they're, they're really getting their beer out there to the fans. Yeah, they um, are. You know, doing pounders, and uh, I think that's pretty much what they do all the time. But uh, yeah, the 16 ounce can format. Yeah, this was a really nice beer for their uh, one year anniversary, in my opinion. Uh, solid 425 all around. Yeah, and we know. got a one more time. Thanks, Todd, Todd. for scooping it up yeah. for us. Really appreciate that, man. Good looking out. Till next time, guys. Cheers. Cheers.